is the seventh annual general meeting of Bois Cement PLC, a leading producer of cement in Nigeria with production plants located in Lagos, Edo and Sokoto states. Members of the board of directors, the audit committee members and the shareholders have gathered for this annual ritual. According to last year's financial report, the company recorded a revenue increase of 40.3% to 361.9 billion naira, compared to the 257.3 billion naira recorded in 2021. The report also states that the company's earnings per share also grew by 12% year on year to 2 naira 98 koba from the 2 naira 66 koba recorded in 2021. So we can clearly see the company in our eyes. The chairman of the company, Mr. Abdul Samad Rabiu, says the company presently has the capacity to produce 11 million tons of cement per annum and is working to expand the production capacity with the plants in Sokoto State and Ubu in Edo State. We have two lines that are coming on stream by the end of the by the end of the year, the Obu line three and Sokoto line five, which will give us a combined capacity of six, six, six million tons. And then by the time you know we have those two lines, we'll be Seven. having about 70 million tons per annum. So what we want to do is to support the government. Sit down, with, you know, the minister to see how we can bring down the price of cement once we have these two lines. Uh, up are running by the end of the year. <laughs> the meeting goes into an interactive session and the shareholders commended the management for running a profitable company. This company made earnings of 2 naira 87 kobo and they are giving us 2 naira 80 kobo. It's the best that has happened to the capital market. And Bois Cement is going higher and higher because of the board and management focus to make sure they empower the shareholder. We have an excellent results, performance this year, to the glory of God. This is a stepping stone and we'll be getting higher and higher bountiful results. The management of Bois Cement is hoping that its latest effort will increase its production capacity to about 80% and remain a competitive market leader in Nigeria.